Hey guys, uh, this update on the uh, my Canon uh, M50 Mark II. Um, long story short, bad news. Uh, terrible news, actually. So for the people who's having an issue with your camera not reading your, uh, your memory card, um, here are three um, choices I was left with. So after searching good old YouTube for the answer, um, ran across some videos, the first solution um, to why your camera isn't reading your, your memory cards is because of your uh, your lock switch on your memory card, you see your eyes up, that means it's, it's uh, able to uh, to be used, and then when you have the switch down, you have it locked, so you, you're not able to uh, record or take pictures on it. So make sure your actual latch is up, which is mine. Mine is up. So the first solution is to tape the actual locking mechanism. So if you have one, if you don't, some people don't just fell off, whatever. Just make sure you, you wrap some good clear tape right here on this side with the switches at. So you lock, you, you know, you put a layer of uh, clear tape on there and it should work. Now, if it doesn't work, try a second la uh, layer of clear tape um, and be very careful because you can get stuck. I did this before and it was a little hassle of getting it out of the camera. So try one layer of tape over the, uh, the switch. If that doesn't work, try a second layer of tape over the switch. So if that doesn't work, then they want you to try to blow out your actual uh, SD slot. They want you to actually blow out your SD slot if that doesn't work. So um, use air compressor. Um, one guy he used uh, a little WD-40. Uh, I don't know about that. It's kind of risky. I guess you know. I, I don't know about that, but it did work. So he blew some WD-40 in here a little bit, just a tiny bit inside of the uh, the SD slot. Uh, but use uh, air compressed air, uh, and I also see uh, watch videos of that that actually worked as well. Um, also. With some of these SD cards, um, it can build up dust, debris. So I would recommend for you to get a swab, a cotton swab, and dip it in some alcohol. And then you simply just rub the connectors. Rub the connectors with some uh, alcohol swab. Well, with a, uh, with a swab dipped in alcohol, just rub the connectors. I saw a couple videos and it did work as well. Um, sadly, I tried all three of these. I tried the tape over the memory card. I cleaned the connectors. I blew compressed air into the actual slot itself. I also used the alcohol swab, dipped that, brushed it off, rubbed it on there, and let it dry. And I also put it inside the drive and I in injected it and ejected it several times to get it uh, nice and clean. That didn't work either. So I had to call the experts. Um, so what they told me pretty much, they said, well, it can be fixed, which was great. But the guy immediately followed up and said, um, you know, it can be switched out, but it's going to cost 500 bucks. Now, when he told me that, um, I'm like, nah, the camera cost me 500. So he already knew. So right when he told me that he said, well, you know, it's a outdated camera. Go ahead and get you a new version, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and that way he says he was telling me about the programs and stuff like that. It's just outdated camera. And he said, cam, cam is not going to fix it, but you can, uh, you know, tell them that you want to trade it in, but you have to buy another product from them, um, from Canon uh, themselves. And, you know, I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I could shop around and find another shop that can fix it. And chances being, if you told me 500, and that was a reputable shop, they had the great ratings and everything like that, been in business for a long time. I already knew it was going to be 
three hundred. Because if you charge me five, I probably can get it for three hundred at best. So that being said, you know, for me, I'm like, you know, what? you know, I'll spend one fifty to get it fixed. So I can shop around and find someone that can possibly do it a little cheaper, but if so, I know it's going to cost me three hundred automatically. So that being said, I already uh, shopped around and found. Um, my ideal camera so I'll be picking it up real soon but for those who run across this card uh, right protect switch is set to lock um, you have three options so I told you guys before take the memory card out put a little tape over the locking latch if it doesn't work try two uh, uh, layers of clear tape if that doesn't work try a uh, a Q-tip with and dip it in alcohol and clean the uh, the connectors. If that doesn't work, then go ahead and spray the uh, memory card slot inside of your actual your uh, your camera with compressed air. And if that doesn't work. Uh, well, the harsh reality is that um, you're gonna have to get it repaired, and that's a pretty penny. Now, I could kind of mess around and give it a shot myself, but at this point it's not worth it, not worth my time, and I don't want to, if I get into it, I want to fix it, I go into it intentionally to fix it, so if I go in there and something happens, and I, you know, it's already broke, right, but if I can't fix it, then it's going to be a bigger problem, even though it's already down, um, I'm pretty sure I can use a external um, hard drive, uh, I'm not too sure, but um, I'll look into that later, but at this point I am looking for something newer because it is, you know, and the, the Canon M50 has been, been out how long? So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pick up something else. Um, so, you know, it, it, it did its thing for the longest. I'm satisfied with this with this purchase. I had for several years. I started off uh, my channel with this camera, well, my a cell phone, and then I, I made it to this camera, and then I went from there. So letting you guys know again, if you tried all um, all three of those steps and it, it still shows um, cards, right, protect, switches, set the lock, then the last stage is to actually take it into a repair shop and get it fixed. Now, based off of how much your camera costs, it makes sense. But my camera, the price they're charging me to fix it is the same price as the camera. And if I can, I can go get a used one, um, you know, for 400 bucks or whatever, but it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm okay with buying another camera. The newer one is just extra, um, what, uh, $100, uh, $200 more if I catch it on sale. So, you know, this one, I don't know if I can sell it to part out or something, but at this, at this t point in time, I'm going to just use it for a, a prop, you know, something to put on my back wall or whatever like that. So, just letting you guys know, I know you're over here finding these videos. I know I'm not the only one been dealing with this. And uh, this went ahead and got to the end of it and I uh, called one of the pros and they told me what's going on. So I could ship it out to Canon, but, you know, it's okay, man. It's okay. I, you know, at this point, just give me something new. This was my main camera, became my second camera. Now it's down. Um, I'll look into it some more and see if I can just run a, uh, you know, a, a portable uh SD uh, was a state drive um, on it when I record, and uh, if not, then you know I'll just go ahead and get an upgrade and get a newer newer camera. So letting you guys know, keeping you up to date with what's going on with this tech. Cause a lot of people they're giving you solutions that do work, but it doesn't work for everyone. It's sad to say, uh, my camera bit the bullet, so I'm not going to pay the repair price. You know, even if I can get it for 300 bucks, I don't want to pay that much. I'd rather just spend that money and, and get a newer, up to date camera. All right, guys, I hope this video works, uh, well, helps. Um, if any of those solutions work for you, let us know in the comment section down below because people are looking for answers to how to fix their device. But sad to say, you know, if all those uh, tips, uh, if it didn't provide you any help, then you're going to have to go take it in and get it repaired. But sad to say, for my camera, it's not worth to get it fixed. All right, guys, until next time.